Hi guys, Legend 4101 here once again. Bring you some Ezra Miller news. And anyone who's been following Ezra Miller and The Flash knows about his escapades and how he's gone off the deep end. And he has become not The Flash, but The Flash in reverse. You know what I'm saying? So. As I said, if you look at the title right there, I'll put up there, Ezra's become reverse flash, that's basically what he's become. Ezra. All these arrests and stuff that happen, and choking women. You wanna run it? You wanna run it? <sighs> choking people, going at the KKK, he's going after them, he's going after everyone. <laughs> I know where you live. <laughs> all that, all that madness right now. Ezra, this guy is he's lost right now. He needs some help, he needs some prayers. Something needs to be done about this man. He needs to go. Get him out of the Flash franchise. He needs to recover, recoup somewhere. Get him out of Warner Brothers right now. So, this guy is too protected. He needs to be stopped. So, let's get into uh, this. <sighs> Ezra made an arrest. Prompts emergency Warner Bros. Meeting about Star's future. Rolling Stone. I'm saying Tatiana Siegel. All right, so exclusive and insider says Miller had frequent meltdowns during production last year on The Flash. Described the actor as losing it. Damn. Oh, was you? This is that time he was on The Flash show. He said on The Flash. Oh, the, the Flash movie. The movie almost been a movie. Okay, yeah. It must be the movie you're talking about. Okay, sure. Look at this man. Look at this guy, bro. Jeez. Look at his eyes, man. He look. He looks lost, bro. This guy needs. He needs some help. Okay, so let's keep reading. Will Smith isn't the only Hollywood star facing backlash. Well, facing career backlash in the wake of a public outburst. I'm <laughs> bringing the Will Smith out. No way for no reason. <laughs> Will Smith. That's another one who's in trouble as well. Will Smith. I might have to do another video on Will Smith and Jada, yo. Jada is just, Jada's the bane of his existence. Okay, let's continue, let's continue. On March 30th, Warner Bros. and DC executives held an emergency impromptu meeting to discuss Ezra Miller's future with the studio following the Flash star's recent arrest for disorderly conduct and harassment. According to a knowledgeable source, the consensus in the room was a hit pause on any future projects involving Miller, including possible appearances in the DC Extended Universe. So they're thinking about not using any further stuff because this guy is he's gone he's he's gone some new reports about this man just he's, he's lost it he's gone he's finished um so yes yeah, let's, let's keep going on yeah? let's keep going on the studio has more than a year before he has to make any hard decision about a potential sequel to the flash Warner bros also has avoided making any key decisions on temples head of discovery taking control of Warner Media in a 43 billion dollar major mega merger Warner Media chief Anne Sarnoff announced on Tuesday that she is exciting or oh, exit exciting exiting the company as AT&T spin-offs its entertainment division to discovery last month Warner Brothers moved the Andre Machete helm first installment The Flash Production of Fort with Drama from November 4th, 2022 to June 23rd, 2023. Yes, I uh, know. When says Miller had frequent meltdowns during production last year on The Flash. While the insider stresses there was no yelling or violent outbursts, they described Miller as losing it. <laughs> Anyways, Ezra will get a thought in their head and say, I don't know what I'm doing. The insider tells Rolling Stone, oh my gosh, this guy is. He says he doesn't know what he's doing. This guy's, in, this guy's in a state right now. He needs some help. Why no one getting help this man? One of brothers, what are you doing? How many members of Ezra Miller, what the hell are you doing? According to the March 20th police report, Miller became agitated after patrons at a Hawaii bar began singing karaoke. Miller shied obscenities and grabbed the microphone from a 23-year-old woman as she was singing and allegedly lunged at a 30-year-old man playing darts. A 29 year old movie star was arrested and charged on both counts and was released on $500 bail. The incident took place at Margarita Village in Hilo, 
away the day before Miller's Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Castmates were celebrating the film's world premiere in London. Okay. I get made a mistake. I'm a, I was a fan of Ezra Miller before this. Before he started acting all weird. And he just fell off the deep end, man. I liked him in Fantastic Beasts, the first one. That's where I really noticed Ezra Miller's talent. But then after that, he just, I don't know what happened this man. Uh, even more troubling, a local couple filed a temporary restraining order against Miller on March 29th. The couple claimed that after Miller's arrest, Miller burst into their bedroom and threatened them with Miller saying to the man, Oh, bury you and your slut wife. Oh, what the? F really? <laughs> oh, damn. According to the report, the petitioner also alleges that Miller stole the woman's passport and the man's wallet. Damn. Which included a social security card, driver's license, and bank cards. A judge granted a, a TRO for the following day. The judge expected to make a decision on whether or not to extend the restraining order by the end of the month. The Hawaii incidents are late in a series of troubling events involving Miller. In April 2020, footage of the actor apparently choking a woman in an Iceland bar circulated on social media. That's the one. You wanna run it, huh? You wanna run it? Sorry, you wanna run it, huh? You wanna come here? Straight choking her. But as Justice League star was kicked out of Freakio Cafe's bar, but no arrests were made. And Miller has never complained on the incident. He never commented on the incident, I should say. Oh yeah, he wouldn't. They they kept him quiet. They were like, nah, you ain't saying a damn thing about that. So also say that Iceland footage gave Warner Bros. pause at the time. But Will was not kicked off secrets of Dumbledore like castmate Johnny Depp, who lost his libel case against a British tabloid, which I refer to that as a wife beater. For sure. He got that protection, protection, and he's gay, bro. That protection right now, that, that LGBTQ protection, is real. That protection, Johnny Depp doesn't have that LGBTQ protection right now. That Ezra Miller has. This guy is protected. In January, Miller posted a since deleted video on Instagram threatening a North Carolina chapter of the Ku Klux Klan. That video was crazy. Man's wearing the ring. flesh ring as well. Like, <laughs> I was like, hosts, this guy here, Freddy Lives. Wow, he's got the flash ring on. This guy's a straight villain. The actor told members of the chapter to kill themselves with their own guns, otherwise, we'll do it for you if that's what you want. I got connections, huh? I know some people, <laughs> you know, what I do. <laughs> Ezra is a damn monster. He's a menace. He has to be stopped. Um, Miller shot Fantastic Beasts and The Flash back to back for the studio in London in fall 2020 and spring 2021, respectively. Given the positive buzz on early footage of The Flash, the film was expected to cut Port Miller into a rarefied group of actors who can carry a major box office hit. I ain't no, I don't know, Google's kind of but damn sure, but whoo wee! I'm just afraid for this man, that's what I'm worried about. Ezra, I want Ezra to be okay, yo. Mentally okay. But Hawaii incidents are expected to cause PR headaches for the star and one of those in the TRO petition. The couple noted that Miller is famous and wealthy. This makes access to weapons much easier as well as sending associates to arrest the petitioner. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's keep going on. This is getting interesting. Huh? What's this about? Miller is known to have a fascination with weapons. Weapons? What's that? This guy's got a fascination with weapons since when? During a 2018 cover interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Miller offered to show this reporter the crossbow from the film. We need to talk about Kevin. Oh, yeah. That, 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 in which the teen had to portray the high school killer. Oh, I still need to watch that movie. I haven't seen that movie yet. We need to talk about Kevin. I need to watch that movie. I heard that movie was fire. But, yeah. Let's continue on. You want to see the real bow and arrow from Kevin? Eh. That guy right back here. I really do. They said that that because Vermont Farm. People usually don't want to see it. When they ask them, they usually say no. I prefer to not see that bow and arrow, and I say, "Okay, it's up to you." This guy, bro. This guy, bro. This guy, bro. It's a Miller's a monster. He's a straight monster. During the interview, Miller also defended gun rights. People need to protect themselves. The actor said, "In fact, Miller, who identifies as non-binary and uses they them pronouns, oh, I hate that stuff." Um, said they don't have a problem with people owning semi-automatic weapons. Oh. 
That passage initially appeared in a sidebar story on the actor, but was pulled at the behest of the actor's publicist following a mass shooting at Pittsburgh Synagogue. This guy don't give a crap, bro. Made the first person to see the teenage in Ante Antonio Campos, 2008 drama After School, which centered on an internet addicted prep school student who captures the drug of those of two girls on video. The actor quickly landed at the top of wish list among the major studies, major studios, and was paid low seven figures each for both Fantastic Beasts and the Flash standalone. But Miller's behaviour has become increasingly er erratic in recent years, putting their career in expensive temples that require lengthy publicity tours in jeopardy. A source says Miller was never expected to attend the Fantastic Beasts premiere because of their publicity plans for the film by limit given that they were saving contractual promotion commitments for The Flash. And that's the piece hits theatres in the US on April 15th. The Rolling Stones reached out to Margarita Village, Prikio, Kafias, and the couple who were granted a training order but did not receive a response. Reps for Miller and Warren Brothers declined to comment. <laughs> They're keeping their ass quiet. As for Smith, who is also part of the DC Extended Universe of Supervillain Deadshot, Warren Brothers and DC had the been developing Smith-led standalone film for Deadshot, but had put it on the back burner long before his Oscar's assault of Chris Rock. Smith, whose price tag was $20 million for Warner Brothers, King Richard priced himself out well before his controversy. Despite Smith's apology to Rock, studios are revealing the actors involved in various projects around Hollywood. Okay, so Will Smith's getting caught up in this as well a little bit. Aye, aye, aye. Oh, yeah, Ezra, 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 Ezra. This guy here, you wanna run it? You wanna run it? This guy is out of his mind. Ezra, get some help, my guy. Get some help. Legit, get some help. Well, okay, hey, just, just go see someone. Get some help. And release this man from his flash contract. He needs to go. He needs to re, needs to re evaluate himself. ASAP. But guys, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. I just had to get on this real quick. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what to do. Press the notification bell set to all set and something in your inbox all day, every day. And Twitter and Instagram made the place you're gonna find your boy Legend of 1101. And if you want to donate to the channel, Cash App only, mobile app only. Yeah. Oh, check out the description box as well. I do a podcast with a group of friends of mine, Square Eye Syndrome. Bow. So I uh, yeah. Wherever you are there night, stay safe out in the streets. It's the Legend of All One on One signing out. Peace. Ezra, 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 man, what the heck?